Hi guys, um, I'm going to work on this problem. It was on the A days first independent practice. I'm going to use the uh, AC method or the magic method. Okay, and um, the very first thing before we use any method is to take the GCF out. We have a 30, 36, and a 6. We can take out a 6. When I take out a 6 or a factor out of 6, it means I'm going to divide this by 6, divide this by 6, and divide this by 6. So I end up with a 5x squared plus 6x plus 1. Now you're thinking it's easier to do trial and error right here, but since we need to practice, we're going to use the AC method, so or the magic method. Magic method tells us M, multiply. Well, multiply A times C. Well, A is 5, and C is positive 1. This is a positive 5. Now, add. The factors of 5. So, the factors of 5, um, there's only 1. 1 and 5. It's going to have to equal positive 6, which is the B term. So the factors of 5 that equal um, 1 and 6, I'm sorry, is 1 and plus 5. Sorry guys, this, this morning my allergies are really bad. I think Kiki, my cat, just went and just took all of her fur and just started just pulling it out and just spreading it around everywhere. But anyways... Okay, so I found the factors 1 and 5 that add up to B. And then before I group them together, which is G, I'm going to take this 1 and plus 5. So it's a plus 1 or a, or a plus 5. I can switch them around. Plus 1 equals a plus 6, right? These two are the factors. 5 and 1 of A times C, and 6 is B term. And I'm going to add the X's. And what I'm trying to do is in the original problem right here, the trinomial, I'm going to take this two factors that is the same thing as 6X. I'm going to break that 6X apart, the 6X right in here the 6x, and I'm going to write it as plus 5x and plus 1x. So let's go ahead and take this out. And it's going to be a 5x squared. That's the first term. Now, this middle term is going to be written as two terms, 5x plus 1x, and then the last term, plus 1. Okay, now... Okay, I can have it equal zero if I want. It doesn't really matter. Okay, um, now, so next process of magic is G. I am going to group the two together. Group this, group this. Notice that both of the terms are completely inside of the, um, the parentheses. We have a plus here. Okay, we have a plus here, and it's inside of the parentheses because that plus belongs to the 1. Now, IC stands for in common. So we looked here and see what we have in common. We have a 5. We also have an X. When I take a 5X out, I'm dividing this by 5X. Dividing it by 5X, we have an X plus 1. Now, this is really important here. There's nothing in common. But we have to take something out of the second group. And so I'm going to take out a 1. And I'm going to take out a plus 1, plus 1, and plus 1. When you don't have anything in common, you have to take out a plus 1. Okay? And so that is an x plus 1. Notice that this binomial and this binomial is in common. Notice that they're in common. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take that out, because you can take that out. Now, when I take out an x 
plus 1, I'm dividing this by x plus 1. I'm also dividing this by x plus 1. What do I have left over? x plus 1. I can go ahead and simplify that. I have 5x plus 1. Now this was originally equal to 0. These are my factors. You can take and put the 6 that you left behind right there. And right here are the factors of 30x squared plus 36x plus 6. If you actually FOIL this and then multiply the whole trinomial by 6, that's what you'll get. Okay? Good job.